how to cope up with two kids with close age gap sharing my personal experience a close age gap between children can be hard but it also brings plenty of joy isn't it growing your family is exciting but it can be exhausting especially if you have two little ones close together of course motherhood is hard but nothing is impossible i am sharing my experience that helped me out in this situation so let's start always remember your first child is still a baby in the early days of parenting two with little age gap juggling the priorities and needs of your children can be tricky it's good to keep in mind that your first child is still little too and may need help adjusting to life don't be hard with your first child because it's not easy for him or her to accept the new reality try to make a fuss of your older child your older child might feel left out in the early days when there is naturally so much focus on the new baby often you may need to attend your newborn first make sure you talk to your older child about their new exciting role as being brother or sister and what a great job they are doing when family and friends visit you can ask them to spend time playing with your older child or giving them lots of attention this was the time when my mother and my sisters played a very vital role as my elder child was very attached to them and that was a plus point for me try to involve your toddler wherever you can try to involve your baby in caring for your little baby if you can you can also encourage your toddler to take on new responsibilities and roles like greeting the baby when they wake up or helping to choose what the baby will wear this was also the thing that my boy used to love to do for his little sister as uh, like choosing matching outfits meeting the needs of the two sometimes both of your little ones need you at the same time and that's the alarming situation You can't do everything or be everywhere at once. Just do what you can do at that time. Depending on the situation, you might be able to go to your toddler first and encourage them to help you. That way, the two of you can care for the baby together. In this way, you can also teach your elder one about responsibilities, compromises, and patience. Now dealing with exhaustion. With a super active toddler on the go and a little baby in your arms you are bound to feel exhausted of course it might be especially hard to adjust to the lack of sleep if your newborn wakes frequently at night and your toddler is an early riser who's active all day try to make time for just you and ask your partner to help at this point of life when i was really exhausted my partner and my mother was there They were a great support and help for me as they used to handle both of the kids uh, at the daytime and I used to take some rest and sleep well so that I could wake up at night and handle my little one. So in this way I and my family managed the hard time and it goes very well. The last and most important point is don't forget to enjoy it. Don't forget to step back and focus on the positives of a small age gap. Seeing them get to know each other can be wonderful and it is worth it. To be very honest, it is worth it. So these are some pointers that really helped me out during this phase of life. Of course, it wasn't easy and it was very new for me as handling both the kids together was very tough, was very hard and sometimes it was exhausting. Now whenever I look back to the journey, it looks so beautiful, wonderful and absolutely worth it. So all the moms who are going through the same phase of life, I wish you all the best and I hope these points would bring some positivity in your life. Motherhood is all about ups and downs, so you will also do it very nicely. So just don't give up and keep doing whatever you are doing. And uh, you can read more uh, about parenting tips on my Instagram. I will be giving the link in the description below, so you can go and check my blogs there as well. As well as you can go and check my blogs on my website. That's amnariswan.blogspot.com, and you can read out blogs there as well. I have written some of the blogs on parenting. So that was the video today. Hope you like it. and a lot of stuff till the next time